Hey guys, and welcome back to Armed and Dangerous. When we last left off, um, we had a very interesting exchange with the Lionhearts and the Shrub Troll. Yes, death to the Salad Eaters, I believe, was the phrase of the day. Anyway, moving on. So, Roman's little diversion. Keep the King's men occupied whilst the Lionhearts get the keys. Set the oppressed onion mine workers free. Oppressed onion mine? What? Onion mine? Damn. Get nine peasants to their homes. Follow you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, saving more peasants. Gotta save those peasants. Yeah, we got to save those peasants. Saving those peasants from the onion mines. This sounds interesting. We got a sniper rifle and the machine gun. That is it. Well, okay. Let's go to work. Damn. What is this? This is. Oh, we don't actually start with the jetpack here, but we do get it afterwards. Nice. Ooh, hey friend. Maybe you should have been working in the onion mines. Then you would have been saved instead of full of lead. Huh. It's very fancy around here. The maps are so vertical as well. Well, you can die. Let's be fair. Let's get rid of your scaffolding. Ooh. I kind of want to take all of this in. This is so cool. I wonder... If this is the local delicacy around here, onions, or if this is just what the peasants are forced to eat. Or are peasants the currency? But then that doesn't make sense, because we know the currency is dollars, because that's what's on the wanted posters. I am curious. Right, well, let's nuke this place. Please don't stick, oh god, to the soldiers. Yep, the power of the bullet. Especially in this game, it is mightier than the sword. Alright, let's light up this tower. Definitely don't need this thing raining. Ooh! The hell shot that? See that rocket come in and just like completely waste that thing. I don't know what that was about, but hey. I guess someone's on our side. At least it seems that way. Right, I think we need to get some height. Uh, let's go. Oh man, how do we get up? There we go, that do. Uh, from here we can go up here. Or can we? No, we can't. We can't quite make it. We can come up here though. Where's that tower? There it is. Let's take out these towers first. Really don't need these things ruining our day. They did spend a lot of time making some really unique maps here. I'm actually genuinely impressed with what they've accomplished because it does seem like a small little um i don't want to say well yeah i mean maybe like an indie developer really although i'm not really sure how an indie developer could afford to uh make a game for a console back in the day oh hey friend because it's only in recent years that consoles have gone well been opened up to smaller teams and the whole game, yeah, uh, gaming community is better off for it. Right. Oh, hello. There you go. But this definitely does have like a budget kind of, of feel to it. They tried to do something a lot bigger than they were capable of. And, and they succeeded, but there's definitely corners cut. So that gives it a nice quirk, I think. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the way these civvies just kind of gravitate around you. Uh, I mean, it's yeah, uh, it's just bizarre. It's so bizarre. But hey, I mean, it works. At least it's not like Fable, where you have to reach out and hold everybody's hand. Oh no, don't don't bring up Fable because I feel a Fable rant coming on of how they ruined what could have been Microsoft Zelda. Oh, we've got loads of guys with rocket launchers. Let's put a stop to that. Okay. And we're actually getting low on health. Can't see a pub around here either. I'd wager the pub is around behind that gate. I mean, this jetpack as well <clears throat> adds a really nice dynamic to the game. I mean, you, you don't even need this. 
You know, you could totally not have this at all, and the game would be perfectly playable and fine. But it just works so well. Oh god, whoops. It almost reminds me of... I don't want to say... Yeah, like glitch in the system. If anyone's played that. That was a, a hidden gem that's almost been lost to time as well. That game was amazing. And I do want to cover that at some point. And it, you can emulate it on the 360. It's backwards compatible. But it runs at like four frames a second. So... And I actually... Oh, come on. I actually do... Really? Hitbox is a bit wonky there, but no matter. Uh, let's go back. I actually do remember it running really smoothly on the Xbox. Which I can't say for, uh, is the same for this game. I'm sure this game lagged up on the Xbox. Alright, let's drop off these peasants. Well, I mean, they're not really free, Roman. We've just dropped them back at his house. It's not like he's escaped the mines. Is that your blood? Yes, it's your blood, your spleen, your ass, and everything. Yep, you got that right. Okay, who's next? Oh, it looks like there's some more over there. There was some more peasants around that we haven't managed to pick up. Ah, oh, there's probably peasants up here. We can't appear to get those guys. Will that work? No, not even that works actually. Hmm, okay. Ah, there is another peasant up there. Let's get up and over here. Nah, you know what, let's go rescue some more peasants first. Might as well. I mean, they are invincible whilst they're in, <laughs> in tow, should we say. Ooh, in tow. Does anyone remember um, classic game room undertow? I used to love that show. And Classic Game Room, actually. One of my favourite uh, YouTube channels of the YouTube golden years, anyway. There we go. Not bad. Um. He oh, okay. I, he wasn't moving. I'm like, are you dead, dude? Seriously? I thought we'd somehow accidentally killed that guy. Even though... He wishes we were his dad, which... Roman school, but he is not your father. Took your bloody time, cheeky bastard. You know, these peasants have a right attitude on them. It's got to be said. I mean, that cheeky little shit of a kid kicked us. Cheeky bastard. Ah, there's the pub. I thought it'd be over here. Nice. Yoink. I know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We try. We aim to please. There we are. Boom, baby. Right, we rock the house. Sometimes you get all the pickups that you want. Loads of explosives. It's too many explosives, if anything. And other times you really are kind of left in limbo. Oh, little, little area through there. I wonder if there's... Something worth looking at. Ooh. A good wrestle and a pint. Uh, I'll pass on the wrestle because I'm up to my ass in the dead over here. But a pint? Yes, why not? Make it a pint of ale, please. There we go. Actually, scrap the ale. I'll have a nice menadou. Haven't had one of those for ages. Right, what's in through here? A nice Cornish stout, that is. Mm. Like Guinness, but with more flavour. Yeah, richer, creamier flavour. Now, Guinness is lovely. Guinness is fucking lovely. Good stuff. But I do prefer Menadu. Let's go. Right, you're scrapped. Let's have a little look up here. See what we can find. Ah, there's been many a night I've sat back with a pack of Guinness. Oh, I love the stuff. Damn it, now I want some Guinness. Ugh. Guinness and soup. Maybe there's something to that, actually. Right, let's go drop you off home. Go drop you back to your mother. She'll probably tell you you've been a very naughty boy. Ooh, hello. Come on. Die and die some more. We will not be dying today. Yes. I don't think anyone here is free, Roman. 
I'm just saying, buddy. You could free these peasants all you wanted. I don't know if they would know what to do with their freedom. They seem to be the sort that need to have someone telling them what to do. Uh, there's not really a lot of higher brain function going on. Uh, right. Ooh. Someone is shooting us with rockets. And I don't know from where. Oh well, no matter. Let's go rescue some more dudes. Ah, there's one over here. I'm coming for you, my friend. You'll now be free of the onion mines. I'm not seeing many onions in these mines. Yes, yes, everybody wishes that Roman was their dad. However, we can't all be. Ooh, I wonder if we can get up there. I bet we can, you know. Ah, there's the other guy. You seem to be able to pretty much get wherever you want. <laughs> They're loving it. Whoa. Right, let's go. Yep. <sighs> That's quite the threat, you know. Are these the onions? No. Oh, who's shooting me in the arse? My god, the scale in this game is so impressive. Uh, yeah, maybe we can get up there, but it's not worth the effort, I don't think. That fire is quite impressive as well. Hey, friend. Oh, yeah, we can... Yeah, you, your hitbox is kind of keeping you alive. Do we kill them? Do we kill them? I think we should kill them. Easiest way to kill them would be liberal use of explosives. <laughs> yes, there is, my friend. There we go. Get wrecked, you bastards. Let's go grab these. And take these guys home. Oh, there's still one captured. Oh, that won't do. We appear to be... Oh, no. I was going to say, we appear to be running out of houses for these peasants, but no. Is it that obvious? Ah, oh, bless him. Trying to explain it to the wife. They never they never believe you, do they? Right. It's okay, I can explain. Where have you been, you bastard? <laughs> you know, I'd rather be out there kidnapped still. <laughs> I love it. Right, let's go. Um, now one more potato muncher to free. Oh, he's up there apparently. Is he up there or is he over here? In this strange potato or onion extractor. Who said that? Captain Von Hell. Where are you, Captain Von Hell? Please feel free to introduce yourself. So I can hose you down with the liberal amounts of bullets. Ah, there he is. Cool. Ooh. Oh, I thought we could go down the chimney stack. That would be cool. Ah, it looks like we can actually get quite far up here. No problem, my peasant friend. No, we can't actually get on these roofs. Oh, that's a shame. I'm actually genuinely surprised that you can't go any higher. Right, let's hand this guy in. There you go, my peasant friend. Sweet, sweet freedom. I'm guessing all the onions you can eat. You are a true champion of the people. Without workers, this evil mine will grind to a halt. Onions don't mine themselves, you know. Please tell me there's more to eat in this place than just onions. Pasties, for instance. Not a lot of enemies on that map. Yeah, didn't feel like it. Accidents, 900. I'm really curious about the whole accident thing. I'm also quite curious about the... You know, I've actually unpacked all of my original Xbox games the other day. I'm wondering if this game's... There, I'm sure I bought this game, which means I've actually just bought it on disc and I've bought it on the Xbox store as well. But hey, it was only a few pounds. Right. Hey, and we've passed the 200 grand limit. Nice. Sire, we don't have much time. They're nearing the wild wood. The wild wood gate has stood impassable since the Lesser Onion War. Wait, what? One of our spies tells us they are seeking out the Lady of the Pond. She has the key Legends. of... Legends. No such person. But that does give me an... Onion idea. War? Still, I have a mission for them. 
what you do? Just do experiment. <coughs> ah, interesting. Dear son, tell us all about it. Dig grungy into calcium dust. Right, well, stop that. I wanted to take a vision of my soldiers <laughs> and head to the Wildwood Abbey. He's um, a good dad. Sire, wouldn't it be better if... Silence! Prince Sig is ready to lead an army. He will show the people his natural <laughs> talent for leading men at arms, even if it is against a foe that won't even be there. Prince Sig, your army awaits. Go, my son. Go down there and lead them into battle. Now, the true power of... You <laughs> that was genuinely funny. <laughs> well, what now? Patience. <laughs> Fucking hell. Here when she's ready. What does that mean? When she's had her hair done after the gills have been waxed? Oh, jeez. Oh, this is pointless. Oh, damn. What did, what did he just do? Well, Rex, put it this way. Your beloved Lady of the Pond is now lying face down in the water with some major head trauma. It was a bleeding accident. Well, get her out. <sighs> Idiots. Hello, nice to meet you. What? Huh? We're here for the, um, big piece of, uh... You? You for a rocket, mate? <laughs> Bloody... You chirped as you were coming out of the pond. I pond? What was I doing in the pond? Why, you live there. You are Zemboline, the great lady of the pond. Ha! What a bunch of rubbish! It's true. We are here for the legendary keys of Zardok. Ha 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 ha! What are you talking about? My name's Sarah Hillman from the next village. I want a homeless shelter for startled sheep. <laughs> Now go and play your pathetic D and D games <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> I can't even swim, you silly man. You've been in that pond for over two thousand years, Jonesy. You idiot. Then she should at least know how to dodge skipping rocks. Hey, what's that? The keys of Zardox. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know anymore. You know, guys. <sighs> yeah, let's just roll with it. Oh wow, that is quite the map. Crushed the king's army. Jonesy and Rexus are on their way with the keys of Zardos. But there's an army between you and the wild gate. Use this old turret, you mean the one we've been dragging around forever, um, to take out the king's forces. Survive as long as you can. Wipe out as many troops as you can. You'll be captured if a hundred guards enter the village. <laughs> Oh, these cutscenes, man. Oh, what a hidden gem this is. Like, honestly. Uh, looked like her dress was uh, <clears throat> very see-through as well. That was... Oh, man. This game. Oh, there's a hell of a range on this thing. Really is. I also love the accents as well. They did a good job. They really did. Look at all the sheep. Oh, we don't want to murder the Lady of the Lake's sheep now, do we? Or whatever she said her name was. Um. Oh my god, he has a lot of men. He has a lot of men. And they are certainly coming up and over the hill. Uh, we really don't want to be murdering these sh poor innocent sheep. But I guess they shouldn't really be here, should they? They're kind of in the way, you know. Alright. We will try and shoot around the sheep, but I don't think that's going to happen. kind of want to get some good shots into those big formations. Because it's quite satisfying sending them scatting. Attaboy! We need battle sheep. That will mix this up quite a bit. Oh, didn't quite want to set those off just yet. Good thing this old turret has unlimited ammo as well. They really did think of everything. There we go. I like to think this turret is literally mounted on the on the gates of the uh, refuge here. Oh man. Oh god, hello. Can you die please? Definitely don't want none of that. 
Looks like this is going to get a lot more interesting than the usual flare. Oh, he's gone. Uh, maybe not then. Okay. Oh, God. Look at them all. I wish that explosive would... That explosive would reload faster. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, my God. Look at it. Oh, no. Get back, you bastards. Shit. We might actually lose this here. Come on. Hold. Hold the line. Hold the line. Oh, look at them all. Look at them all. Okay. Death to the salad eaters. Yes. I think our patrol bots are coming. Good. The shrub patrol is here. Oh, yes. Yes, this is what we're talking about. Oh, look at that. They're actually taking refuge. No, fuck you, pal. Oh, God. Here they come. Here they come. Round five or ten or three hundred. Could be either at this point. Okay, so if you zoom in like that, there's no auto-aim. But if you zoom out... There is actually a slight auto aim on the uh, cannons, which really does appear to be helping us out here. Which is quite nice. I can't believe the Shrub Patrol is actually here helping us out. That is awesome. Alright, let's start firing. Oh, we got some rockets now. I'm a fan of the rockets. Let's let them. Oh, they're running away now. Cool. That's right, you bastards. Now the Shrub Patrol's here. You guys are screwed. Oh, and just in time, your friends have the keys. Meet them at the Wildwood Gate. Okay. I think we killed a lot of guys there. Actually, not as many as I thought. Well, the Prince actually finally led his men to battle, and they got slaughtered. I don't think anybody's surprised at that fact, mind. Shouldn't there be someone guarding this gate? Nah. You heard the villagers. The keys of Zardos um, are a fairy tale. Uh. Sure you won't tell me how you've got them? It's not a good idea. Right. Give me the kiss. What? You heard me. Give me the kiss. Give me the kiss now or your friends are dead. What the bloody hell is <coughs> this man saying? Give... Give him a kiss? <laughs> no idea. But you better do something quick. Give me a kiss! No! <laughs> what the f are you doing? That's it. You're all dead. Hold it. Wait, wait. Give me another chance. It's been a long time since I kissed a man. Wait, what? I can do better. Kiss! You moron! I said give me the kiss! <laughs> Sorry, I only spit. <laughs> the fuck? What is this game, honestly? I never liked this place. It's scarier than a room full of Germans. <laughs> I don't think this game would be, um. I don't think this would slip through the cracks these days. Good God. Reach uh, the Wildwood Abbey. Okay. Oh, God, I've actually got a headache from laughing. That's a good sign. Um, yeah, so the king has a convoy of Goliaths carrying peasants to the Abu. There they'll be forced to weave baskets until they die. <laughs> of course they are. What else would you do with an army of peasants? Destroy the three Goliaths and free the peasants. Return the three peasants to their homes. Take out the 12 monks guarding the Abbey Road. Get to the walls of the Wildwood Abbey. Well, the okay then. Yes, apparently so. Oh, this is quite a pretty map. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, hello. It's like fucking Robin Hood in the trees. Feels like Robin Hood. Ooh. Whoa, what are those? The hell are those? Little gremlins carrying barrels or something. Oh, well, that's fine. That'll work. 
So what's next? And I want my jetpack. Roman, why did you keep taking that off? Ooh. Ah. There's one. Ooh, bloody hell. That's fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. Oh my god. Right. Good enough. Kind of. Can I have, like, a bottle of drink, please? Otherwise known as a medkit. Seriously? None of you idiots dropped me a medkit. That's not very nice of you, is it? I'm Roman, and I'm here to rescue you. Yes, quite. Ooh. Yeah, we're definitely over here. Alright, let's kill you. Oh, you dropped a med kit. Thanks, buddy. Just what I needed. Right, and we're going to kill you. And we're going to nuke this thing. And then we're going to spray you with bullets. I think we have ascertained that these guys contain large quantities of spleens, Roman. Oh my god, that hurt. Okay. We need to just get the frick out of here. We need to nuke these guys before they get to where they're going. There we go. Because we know when they reach their destination, we actually failed the mission. <sighs> nice. Alright, now we just got to return the peasants. Okay, cool. Now we don't have to worry too much about time. You're done. Now there must be a med kit here, surely. Oh, we do have the sniper rifle. Which is nice. You can piss off, pal. I don't know what the hell happened with the control pad then. Come on. There we go. Right. Now, if we're lucky, and we probably won't get lucky, maybe we'll find a jetpack around here. Yes, we are over here. It's kind of difficult to miss us, guys. Seriously. <laughs> You've killed me. Yes, I did. I take full credit for that work. And I can't believe they started us off with a rifle. Seriously? Why would you do that to me? What have I ever done to you guys? Nope, nothing back here. <clears throat> that was a silly idea, Roman. Oh, God. Oh, you know what? When you don't have the jetpack, you really do feel like you've been handicapped. That jetpack is so much fun. Just zipping around and ah, uh, makes you feel more powerful than God. Uh, we can't go that way. All right. Well, at least we've blown that thing up. I mean, look at these peasants. Honestly, they don't. They can't even walk. How are we dragging them? I guess it's just our heroic powers. Oh, that's the wrong rifle. But hey, oh, that rifle's terrible. I mean, yes, we can zoom in, which, uh, hooray. But it does so little damage, it's not really worth using. Can I have a med kit, please, dude. Oh, you stingy git. Med kits, please. Oh, no, no, we have so little health here. Oh, God. Kill them, kill them all. Med kits, please. Please, med kit. Ah, oh, dude, run. Oh, there's a pub there. Here's me crying about medkits. There's a freaking pub. Let's have a pint instead. And yes, we're definitely going to be swapping out the uh, rifle for the shark weapon. And you know what? Let's also use that. I think that's actually quite a useless weapon, to be 100% honest with you. There we go. I mean, they will now fight each other, but it's not hugely useful because it doesn't have a very big area effect. I'm almost dead again already. Bloody hell. Oh, well. At least Jaws is happy. He's out there just wrecking shit. Right, let's go drop some of these guys home. Oh, I wonder if they all live here. There we are. Yeah, I don't blame these peasants. These wives don't seem very sympathetic to the fact that these guys have been tortured and, you know, imprisoned and put in cages. Yes, no sympathy here at all. 
But then I find that's quite a common thing. I never get any sympathy when I'm sick. But you know what it's like when when the roles are reversed. Take out the twelve monks guarding the Abbey Road. Oh, hello, snipers! I don't think so. Um, are we going the right direction? I guess so. Oh, whoa! Fuck, that's what a monk looks like. I get the feeling they're actually quite tough. Oh my god! Oh, I felt like Rambo then. Who the hell is shooting me from behind? Ah, we may never know. Apparently we're supposed to go in the other direction as well, but let's have a little cheeky look up here. Oh, this, it keeps going. There's got to be something back here, right? Or is this where we came from? Yeah, I'm getting the feeling. Yeah, I think this is where we came from. God damn it. God, these maps are huge. Is this really where we came from? Yep, I guess so. And not a health pack, ammo pack, or jet pack in sight. Very disappointed, game. Very disappointed. Alright, well, let's go murder some monks. That's something you don't get to say every day. So we're going to own that shit. <laughs> Instant demonetized. Oh, hey guys. Stumbled across Robin Hood and his band of brothers. Lovely. Talk about getting lost in the woods. I feel like we're going to run into Yogi Bear at this rate. Oh, Jesus. Ow. Who's... Throwing the explosives. Seriously, guys. What is up with that? I guess you guys all have explosives. Yes, you keep saying that, Roman. We've definitely ascertained that they they have kidneys. Okay, this is now a fact. And this video is going to run over, but I won't tell if you guys don't. Look at the architecture here. It's very ye olde Europe. I was going to say ye olde England, but it's very European architecture. It's definitely the uh, aesthetic, you know. It feels like a dark fairy tale. And I like that. I really like that. Let's jump into the pub to restock all of our stuff, and it will save the game as well. Boop. There we go. I don't really want to end it halfway through a level. Ooh, what's around here? Um, what? Are they those barrel guys making? Yep, I guess so. Explosive barrel guys. They suck. Shut up, you. Nobody wants to hear your opinions there. Ooh, look at this. Oh, looks like all these monks are together. That one monk was out by himself. Jesus, bloody hell. Okay, these monks go down pretty easy, actually. Um, sure, there's a joke there somewhere, but I ain't touching it. There we go. Who's next? Boom. Boom. Those little grubs. Ugh, horrible. <laughs> what the hell is he on about? Get to the walls of the Wildwood Abbey. Well, those monks were a bit of a joke. I thought they might um, put up more of a fight. No matter. Now, nah, what have we got around here? Oh. Hey, and now we have unlocked over the top difficulty. Uh, yay, I guess. Right, let's get out. Great job. Within these walls, the Book of Rule awaits. Excellent. Now, uh, it feels like we murdered a lot there. Yeah, 169. Giggity. Over a quarter of a million now. Fascinating. 
that's just easy. Well, you probably don't remember this, Doc, but your locking spell turned the Book of Rules into the Book of Basketball. Mm. Usual brilliance. And their attempts to break the spell have turned them all into expert basket weavers. In fact, they're mad at <sighs> Oh, that sounds so very dangerous. Well, it could be. <sighs> the walls are too high to jump. Q, what do you think? Can you toss me? What? Can you toss me over? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just said to die. <laughs> Good luck. I'll open the door from the other side. Here, Rexus. I never really thanked you for getting us into this wood. I want you to have this. It's a wrist locator. Activate it, and I'll be able to find you wherever you are. Oh, we'll be fine. You just open that door so we can get to the book. Gosh, I've never been given anything like this before. Well, you know, it's just in case. Thanks, Roman. Uh, it doesn't mean we're engaged or anything. <laughs> Actually, it does. What? It does mean we're engaged. What are you talking about? In the small print of the early doors wrist locator handbook, it says that if you give a set to another person, you are, from that moment oh, on... Let me look at that. <laughs> ...that you are engaged. Right, give it back. But you gave it to... Give me the bloody <laughs> thing now! <laughs> oh, fucking no, give it! Right, now, shoot, <laughs> throw me over that wall. But our tea break... Now! <laughs> Hurry up. Oh man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this game anymore. It just keeps getting better and better. Uh, I mean, the, ga <laughs> the gameplay is kind of like, yeah, it's fun. It, it's it's mindless, simple fun. But the, st <laughs> the story and the writing is actually, at least for me, in my 10-year-old <clears throat> brain, <laughs> is uh, is really hit the spot. So anyway, guys, thank you very much uh, for watching. When we come back, I guess, well, we're finally here to steal the Book of Rule. Uh, which I guess we were about to do. So, till then, guys, thanks for watching.